What's a random black history fact that you did not learn in school that is? The story about Mary Bowser. Let me explain. Mary Bowser was a slave born in 1840 in Richmond, Virginia to the Van Lue family. And she was a slave until 1850. During her first 10 years of life, she showed that she had a photographic and echoic memory, even though she could not read or write. Mary's slave owner's daughter, Elizabeth, aka Miss Bet, who was a budding abolitionist, noticed this about Mary. And so when her father died in the mid 1840s, she decided to let go of all their slaves in 1850, including Mary. Then sent Mary to go get educated in, in Pennsylvania by the Quakers. In 1861, Elizabeth asked Mary to come back and help her spy on the Confederate White House. Okay, look out for part two because there's so much information about this woman and everyone needs to know about her. Here's part two about Mary Bowser. I also forgot to mention that after Mary was educated in Pennsylvania by the Quakers, she also went to Liberia to become a missionary as part of the Back to Africa movement, which was a failed attempt by white Americans to uh, assimilate former slaves back into, into Africa, which didn't work out because by that point, they had been gentrified and colonized and did not remember Africa because there are generations apart from it. But anyway, Mary came back to um, Richmond, Virginia in 1861 at the behest of Elizabeth Van Lu because, because I was about to say World War III. <laughs> because the American Civil War had started and Richmond at that moment was the de facto capital of the Confederacy. Elizabeth Van Lu was a secret unionist. Look out for part three part three and maybe the last part who knows i talk a lot anyway miss bet was a secret unionist did not did not like slavery did not like the confederacy she thought they were all a bunch of dumbasses duh miss bet knew that mary would be the perfect person to go infiltrate the white house because they all thought black people were dumb and they were wrong and then when i say they i mean the confederates racist mother fuckers mary was in charge of cleaning jefferson davis's the confederate president's office and so while she was cleaning up she would read his paperwork memorize information then go write it down and send hidden messages in baked goods like breads um through the baker to miss miss bet what part four here we go mary was reading about um, where the Confederate troops were stationed, where their planned attacks were going to be happening. Also, on top of that, when she wasn't cleaning his office, um, Jefferson, Dav Jefferson Davis's office, she was also um, serving the Confederate generals anytime they visited, and she would listen on to their conversations and memorize everything, firsthand information, verbatim, of what they were saying and what their plans were against the Union. Not only would she send messages through bread through the baker, she would also sew in messages in Varian Davis's, Jefferson's wife's dresses to send to the seamstress, who was also in on the spy ring, to give to Miss Bet. Miss Bet would then send this information over to the Union General so the Union would know exactly what was going to happen. The Union started winning a lot more battles all, and, or avoiding a lot of attacks because of Mary's information. Yes, a black woman! Part five. Let's do it. Miss Bet had a full-blown spy ring. Yes, where she was sending all this information out to, to the Union Generals. Yes, spy ring. And Mary Bowser essentially was James Bond, which I must say, her nickname in the Confederate White House was Dumb Ellen Bond. Yes, Dumb Ellen Bond. Whoever created James Bond probably stole that shit, which is like per usual for black stuff. Hello. And then Jefferson Davis said one day, I think there's a con there's a spy in the Confederate White House. We need to find him and hang him. Then Mary had to go on the run and Miss Beck got her out of Richmond before she was killed because people started noticing it was Mary. And soon afterwards, the Confederacy lost the Civil War and Mary went into hiding. Part six, last part, I promise. So Mary went into hiding for many years, and the last known um, correspondence we have from her is her sending a letter to a government official in Georgia asking for them to change her name to Mary Garvin because she was marrying a white man. Look at her being with the interracial love, right all before Bringerton. 
Because bring her to inspection. But I love that show. And and also she was trying to go to Cuba at that time. And we never heard from her again. But the problem is, is that a lot of white people got the credit for what Mary did. Don't get me wrong. Miss Bet was ingenious and she did a lot of work. But she wasn't alone. Mary finally got her due when she was inducted into the Military Hall of Fame in 1994. But there needs to be a biopic about this woman. And don't worry, I'm working on it.